everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Time Saver TV, the place to be to have the home and life you'll love. Now, it's your way Thursday, and I'm shaking it up a little bit this weekend, coming at you with a cooking video. I know, I know, a lot of you have said, hey, where's the cooking video, Stace? And I promise you, it is not that I haven't wanted to cook, and I've been doing a lot of recipe development behind the scenes for you. It is that the last couple of months have found me so incredibly busy working on the business development plan and bringing into effect an entire new set of programs for you that include, are you ready for this? the finalized version of the business opportunity and giving you the chance to go out and create an entrepreneurial life of your dreams as well. But I digress. Promise you there's a lot more of that coming up later. But today, it's Your Way Thursday and I want to talk about cooking. Now, yesterday I spent the entire morning on the phone with a dear friend and client of mine by the name of Trish in Stanford, Connecticut. And Trish was sharing with me her frustrations that so many moms face on being able to get dinner on the table every night. And her biggest stress with that is she feels she needs to follow a recipe because she's a self-admitted, not fantastic cook. And Trish, we're gonna change that today because I wanna start doing some recipes that really don't have follow the exact direction recipes. They're what I'm going to call LBD, or little black dress recipes. That's right, what am I talking about? Chicken. Chicken's a little black dress food. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, and there's a lot of foods that are that way. So, today, we are going to make a recipe-free chicken just by throwing some things together. That's right, no exact directions, just quickly throwing things together to get a good meal on the table quickly and easily. Now, today I'm going to make a lemon chicken featuring citrus dill seasoning. Our citrus dill seasoning I absolutely love. It's a salt-free seasoning and it's good for a multitude of uses. Lots of flavor and lots of fun and today we're going to whip it up with a little bit of chicken. Now, I'm using a dark meat chicken breast. I have about two, yeah, dark meat chicken breast. Right, Stace. Go find that one at your local store. I'm using dark meat chicken, which happens to be a combination of thighs, beautiful juicy thighs, and I have legs. And why did I choose that? Well, one of the reasons is my New Year's resolution this year was to try to eat 80% organic food and as much local food as I could. So last week, my local market happened to have a sale on dark meat chicken, and truthfully, I love it. It's tasty, it's delicious. You can leave the skin on, you can take the skin off. It's got a lot of flavor, and it's a lot less expensive than plain old boring chicken breast. Now, if you're on a very low-fat diet, stick with the chicken breast, or if you're not, Go with the legs and thighs. If you want to do them organic, great. If you don't want to do them organic, that's okay too. That's the beauty of an LBD recipe. You can take it and flex it however you want to. So, how are we going to season this? Well, let me take my rag here and just wipe my hands off. I'm going to make a quick wet rub today with this because I want the seasoning to really stick to this chicken. And I'm going to take, now I have one, two, six pieces of chicken. So I'm going to use about three tablespoons of the citrus dill seasoning. I'll pour it in a bowl here. I'm also going to take about a tablespoon and a half. I don't need a lot of oil, and this is the luscious lemon oil. This will just add to the citrus flavor here. And I'm going to make a paste out of this. Mix it all up. Massage it together so it's now this paste that's going to coat my hands. And all I'm going to do is rub it on the chicken until it gets nice and coated, like you see here. And I'm going to pop it in my baking pan, and I'm going to repeat the process for all my pieces of chicken. And you know what? I'm looking at the thing here. Look at that piece of hair. This is reality TV at its finest, people. I've got no makeup artist. I've got no hairstylist. And i got funky hair. What do you have in your kitchen? You have funky hair, too? I wouldn't be surprised, right? This is real. All right, so I'm going to repeat the process on all these pieces of chicken, all my legs and all my thighs, and I'll put them in my baking dish. I've got no makeup artist. All right, all the pieces of chicken are in here. I'm just going to season them up a little bit extra with a little bit of fresh cracked tricolor peppercorns. And let me tell you what, if you have not tried these people, you know I'm not going to steer you wrong. Fresh cracked peppercorns are the best. Get rid of that pre-grated stuff that's in the shakers. It's useless. Fresh cracked peppercorns and try mine. Four colors, four flavors, and yummy, yummy, yummy. Also, a tiny bit of all-natural sea salt. Again, if you haven't switched over to sea salt, do so. These are the two biggest things you can do to change your kitchen. Fresh sea salt 
and cracked peppercorns. All right, I'm gonna show this to you. Beautiful, six pieces of chicken. That's it, my preparation is done. They're going in the oven at 350. These are gonna take about a half an hour because they have bones in them. But again, it's an LBD recipe. So if you have chicken breast, it's gonna cook a little less. If you got a whole chicken, it's gonna cook a little bit more. What you wanna do, if you're not quite sure, is stick your meat thermometer in there, put it in the oven, and when it reaches 180, take it out, because it's done. All right, these are going in the oven, and I'll see you when they're finished. Hey, I just had a quick afterthought that I wanted to share with you, and again, that's the beauty of an LBD recipe like this. You could make this a complete meal if you wanted to, simply by cubing up some potatoes and throwing them in there. You can throw in some carrots. You can throw in some broccoli if you wanted to roast it. You can throw in just about anything in there to make it a complete meal. Now, Trish, I know you were telling me how you love to roast your veggies. Why not do it in the same pan with that chicken? And also, the other reason I created this recipe was because I got a great email this week from someone who said, hey, I love your citrus dill seasoning. How come I don't see it with any chicken? So I'm really making this your way third Thursday times two. All right, think about it. A complete meal in one oven, in one pan, in no time, 30 minutes. And you know the other cool thing about this I just thought of? If you had wanted to, if you had frozen chicken, you could make this ahead of time. Take your frozen chicken, smear it in the seasonings, throw it in the oven, and then put it on time bake. That's right. Put it in there at seven o'clock in the morning when you leave for the day. Put it on time bake to bake for 45 minutes or so. Um, and that's your oven heat up time as well as the cooking time and then let it turn off and it'll be ready when you come home. How's that for a thought? All right, that's my little LBD recipe. We're dressing it up with some citrus dill today. 30 minutes on the clock and when we come back, I will show you the finished time bake. That's right. Hey everyone, I'm back. 35 minutes, that's what it took for this to come up to temperature. Let me tip it here so you can see. Whoop. Yummy, a little bit crispy on the top, and oh, it smells so fantastic. I sauteed up some zucchini and onions on the stove and have a little tossed salad that we're gonna have. The kids will have some cinnamon chipotle bread that I made, a great beer batter recipe that's in my new Real Meals Volume 2 cookbook that you can check out. And that's it, our little black dress recipe. This was so easy to make. One quick thing that I wanna add. If you decide to do as I said before and put this in your oven on time bake when it's frozen, I started thinking about what I said about the 45 minutes. Chances are good after it's sat in your oven all day frozen, it's not gonna have thawed that much. So it's probably gonna need closer to about an hour to an hour and a half. So if you have a probe on your oven, definitely program it to probe so that it turns off when it's done. And you're gonna need 350 for probably a good hour or so till it gets finished. So program wisely. And for tips on that, check out one of my previous videos on how to program your oven. I'm Stacey Hawkins. Thanks so much for joining us for this little black, re black dress recipe featuring citrus dill seasoning. And I hope that you've enjoyed your way Thursday. Trish, hats off to you. We're gonna work on getting you to be an ace in the kitchen with this no recipe recipe. And thanks so much too for our online viewer who sent in looking for that chicken citrus dill recipe. Until next time, I'm Stacey Hawkins from Time Saver TV, the place to be for the home and life you will love. Have a great day, everybody.